Hey guys, Mars Singing here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and so we have another one of the no item runs for the 10 new stages and this is the rapid growth stage. Now, it's kind of funny now that I'm recording the commentary for this, uh, when I first did the actual run I hadn't seen anybody else use the Tech Gohan lead team. Um, and then obviously in the uh, time that it's taken me to actually get the commentary recorded for all of these runs because most of them I had to do on the first day when I was at work so it's taken some time to get all of these sorted out afterwards I've seen a couple of other people did use this because if I remember rightly uh, when Truth did this on the JP version he did use the Kefla leads like most of the Universe 6 team which I have seen a couple of people have done for this one as well but I thought this would be great because obviously Tech Gohan, we all know how much of a uh, MVP that he can be on a lot of these runs. And uh, Rapid Growth does feature a lot of interesting Hybrid Saiyans units that we can use in order to uh, get this run done. So, obviously, the main linchpin of the run is the Double Tech Gohans. He's going to be our main tank. Uh, we have the AGL LR Gohan on here. He's kind of just here to be... A big powerhouse unit um, especially because in the I think it's the third fight there's an STR enemy so obviously it can be kind of useful you always want to have at least one unit on the team that can hit reasonably hard on turn one in case you get into one of those situations where you get into the third fight and you can get the dope on attack straight away on turn one then obviously having something like that is very useful as opposed to say somebody like Tech Gohan especially if there's no hits in slot one like he's not a unit that is going to be doing crazy damage on the dope on attack which I think is actually what happens in this run um, and then obviously we have Int Gotenks. Int Gotenks is super good. I used him on a bunch of these stages. Uh, obviously if he's uh, on turn one in base, he's not super great. But once he transforms, uh, obviously he's able to get multiple super attacks. Each one has a 70% chance to stun. Um, so he can be very, very good. Uh, he obviously is raising defense on each super as well. So sometimes you've got to be careful. This first fight we're good because it's a tech enemy. But he's not the strongest unit in slot 1 like before attacking. But uh, obviously here he's just going to get off the multiple supers. Get the stun. When there's only one enemy in the first phase. Uh, if you can get a stun lock going then obviously it becomes much much easier. Uh, we also have units like the Int Kid Goku who is literally only on the team for that chance to stun on super attack obviously when we drop below a certain amount of hp we're able to use his active skill which is a guaranteed crit which is a nice little bit of uh, it's a nice way of chipping away a little bit of extra damage against one of the enemies um so that can be very useful and obviously the uh, guaranteed crit when he actually does super is nice just for like a little bit of extra damage but He's certainly looking a little bit outdated these days. Uh, you can see now that we're out of the first fight, if he's taking type neutral attacks, uh, his defense is not the greatest. Like, he takes a little bit more damage than maybe we would like. But Tech Gohan is obviously here to just soak up all this damage. After he takes, uh, after he performs his first super attack, he just takes double digit damage from normals. Still take almost 100k from a super, but... I mean, that's kind of to be expected in these later stages of Super Battle Road. The thing with this team that made it the trickiest for some of these runs is if you get really bad RNG early on, you kind of have to just quit and start again because this is not a team that has any sort of uh, good healing capabilities. Um, like the Gotenks and Ghost unit is not on rapid growth. They would have been another really good stunner. I definitely would have brought them over the Kid Goku, absolutely. Um, as obviously they have that extra bit of utility with healing with the uh, rainbow orbs, which is nice. Uh, we have this STR EZA Gotenks on the team as well, because once you get out of the first fight, uh, he is a support unit as long as there are multiple enemies. He shares some decent links with obviously some of the other Gotenks units, or he has a couple of links with Gohan as well. And of course he has the chance to stun on super so again this is another one of those runs where it definitely goes a lot easier if you're actually able to get off the stuns with units like him and the kid goku the main goal is to get the rotation set up so that we have both uh we have str go tanks on one rotation kid goku on the other and then a gohan to have in slot one the only downside is that when there's not multiple enemies or like the Kid Goku rotation, for example, um, the links are not the greatest. It's where like Gohan's kind of fatal flaw has always come in. Um, and some of these rotations can be a little bit wonky for Key. 
So, I mean, that is an issue down to... I mean, that's a deliberate choice with the team building, right? To have, we're running a main rotation that is not super good in terms of key. So, as long as you can get lucky like we did this turn, we had a pretty good setup of orbs for everybody. But you can very much get into a situation where it's difficult to super attack. Uh, this one took me a few attempts, and there definitely were some runs where, you know, especially on this Gohan and Kid Goku rotation, couldn't get super attacks for either of them. For Gohan, it's not as bad because he still tanks okay. And obviously my Gohan is built with quite a decent bit of additional. So there were some times where I couldn't super attack with him and then he'd get an additional super anyway. But the whole point of Kid Goku being on the team is to try and get the stuns. So when you're not able to do so, that is a little bit annoying. So going into the third fight here, we don't have a huge amount of HP. But we do have uh, no attacks in the middle. So it's a safe space to put um, the STR Gotenks. We'll go for the stun on Anin and then obviously have uh, LR Gohan do as much damage as possible to the Grandpa Gohan. You see with the support from the Gotenks, even before supering, with that guard, Gohan is only taking like very minimal damage. So just having that Gotenks on the rotation is really, really good for enabling Gohan to tank really well. And uh, unfortunately though, super attack still does almost 100k, so big chunk of damage. Um, do we get the stun here? I'm guessing. No, we don't. Ooh, well, this is definitely, uh, yeah, this was definitely a close one here, because, uh, even after, like, after one super attack, LR Gohan doesn't have the craziest defense, but obviously he is getting that little bit of extra support from the Gotenks, so 10k from him is not too bad, and then we're going into this turn. I think this might be the Dokon attack turn here, so I'm thinking, uh, the active skill... We target Grandpa Gohan, just get his uh, health down a little bit. I think if this is the Dokon attack turn, I probably should have done the active skill on um, Anin because it seems pretty clear that the Dokon attack is going to kill Grandpa Gohan, even though it is from Tech Gohan without having uh, received an attack in slot 1. So his attack stat is very low at this point, 1.8. Obviously, like I say, his links with Kid Goku... Not particularly great. I believe they do share... I think it might be all in the family. They do share a pretty decent defensive link. But they're not the best link partners for sure. This is definitely the, not the most optimal Dokon attack we could have gotten. Especially considering the uh, unit that has the most HP left is the Anin. And she has type advantage over this Gohan. So probably didn't do a huge amount of damage. She super attacks as well. So I was very concerned that we were actually going to die right there. In fact, I'm pretty sure that Kid Goku gets the stun here. Because I don't think, especially not getting a super attack. Yeah, the Int Gotenks would not have been able to tank that hit in the last spot. Um, so the stun coming in clutch. And this leaves us in a very good position to get the finish off here. Um, with the Int Gotenks obviously having type advantage, we're able to get his 11 key super. So he's going to do a big chunk of damage to her. She's stunned, so we just get a free turn to start dishing out some extra damage here. Unfortunately, Gohan not getting the crit means that type advantage or type disadvantage means we don't do a huge amount of damage. Uh, we do get the crit on the additional though. So coming in clutch with that additional super attack. And then the STR Gotenks, no stun from him. So just shy of 5 million attack stat from physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Big damage from him. And uh, she is barely hanging in by a thread. So looking at the HP that we have, uh, it's pretty much guaranteed that we get the W here. Because we know even if she super attacks Gohan in slot 1, he takes about 100k. And we definitely do survive that. I think even with, like, no crit, it's pretty much guaranteed that he finishes her off here. She survived with the tiniest sliver of health. Plus, she did hit him first, so he's getting that little bit of an attack boost. So, he comes in, no crit needed, even though the damage wasn't too crazy. And that is the final blow that we needed to finish her off. So, there you go. That is the rapid growth stage of Super Battle Road done with no items using the Tech Gohan team. Good old hybrid supremacy, I guess, apart from the Kid Goku. But to be fair, he, uh, outside of the stuns, he's definitely the weakest unit on the team. But 
we were able to get it done. Not that bad of a time either. Definitely not one of the longer runs. But there you go. No items, rapid growth, super battle road. So let me know what you guys think down below. What team did you use to beat this stage? Even if you did use items, let me know down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.